Is that like a cup on an altar? Visions of finger. I did it. We all did it. We did it. We are the winners here. That was pretty rough though. The second phase with the... Okay, it is going back. So do I not care about the cup? Sadness ahead, if only I had love. No happiness ahead. Oh no. Time for a head. Oh no. Okay, wait a second. We're gonna... We're gonna rest. And I actually am gonna go uh, spend my souls. Because I have like almost 50,000. Hello. Welcome, Hospi. Very well, then take a nap. Um, actually, wait a second. I know I, I would definitely want to work on my defense, but I think I also wanted to get my decks up high enough that I could try out that exile greatsword. Exile greatsword. Oh, I have the dex. I have the dexterity requirement for it. Why didn't I have the dexterity before? Why do I feel like a bunch of these things had dexterity that were like in twenty in the twenty something? What is my dexterity? It's sixteen. I can actually try the exile greatsword. Okay, I, I want to try that. Welcome, speak very well. Then take. Okay, I want health and stamina mostly. I think. So Vigor gives me health, and Endurance gives me Stamina, so we'll just put two in each. Farewell, I, shall the flame. I feel like my health bar is a lot bigger. <laughs> Hello, Grey Rat. Uh, reinforced weapon. So I have the great sword, and but now I need large titanite shards if I want to bump those up. Uh, if I wanted to try like the exile great sword, I can do that with titanite shards regular, and the drang hammers are also regular titanite shards. I'm the hammers are honestly the ones I've been thinking about the most. So let's try that up until they require large titanite shards. Equipment, equip. Drang hammers. If I, so if I press the left bumper, I do kind of a faster series of swings. What's up, Grey Rat? Oh, hello, hand in one pin. He sells moss clumps. He sells mostly consumables, it looks like. Uh, I guess he's got some weapons. The Bastard Sword. It's a descaling weapon. Not great. You don't have any key items. Goodbye. Oh, this place. <laughs> I do want to try these hammers out for a little bit. Do you... You don't sell anything. You don't have a store at all. Is there a place where I could buy Titanite shards? Or would I have to farm them from enemies? Oh, she sells them for only 800 apiece too. Okay, so leveling up a weapon to plus three to test it out is really not a very costly thing to do. It's something that I could do pretty, pretty readily if I want to test some things out. Okay, so she doesn't have any more keys for me. Oh, I have the I have a Lord of Cinder Soul. So where are the Abyss Watchers? I should also figure out like who the other ones are. Yorm the Giant of the Profaned Chapel. I was at a oh wait, I wasn't at a chapel, I was at a cathedral, is there a difference? Watchers of the Abyss. Okay, this one's for the Watchers. Holy King Lothric, last hope of his line. If he's in the center, so he's probably the final boss. St. Aldrich of the Deep. Yeah, Aldrich was the one I thought I was going to find first. Not this one. So do I, like, can I put your souls here? Offer cinders of a lord. There you go. Oh, it's just their heads. <laughs> their skulls. <laughs> nice! Present and accounted for. <laughs> if you guys won't show up willingly, you'll show up by force. They're all just sitting there killing each other for some reason. 
Okay. Uh, I guess now we will return to the Abyss Watchers bonfire and see what lies beyond. Okay, let's see what's down here. Catacombs of Carthus. All right. I do like me the catacombs. Ah, the skull decor looks quite nice. See an enemy, an intimidating looking enemy over there. See a crystal lizard, your days are numbered. Skeletons, okay. But the cat, the not the catacombs, but there were skeletons in like a graveyard over at the undead settlement, and they did not respawn when I killed them. So let's see if that remains the case here. Oh, are, are bludgeoning weapons going to be more effective against skeletons? Oh, yep. Okay, frick. Do they just come back once? Wretch ahead. Are you referring to the person over there? Do the skeletons only come back once or do they come back forever? If they only come back once, then that's that's fine. But in the first game, you needed a divine weapon to kill them permanently. Arthas Rouge. What does that do? Adds a lacerating effect to your right hand weapon. Okay. Not going to be very useful against skeletons. Oh, big boy. Who are you and what do you want? You've been waiting. Is he underground or invisible? Wait a second. Sorry, Elena. <laughs> I've never fought this enemy before. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, he's dead. And he dropped a Titanite Shard. Okay. W what would you like to do? I'm waiting to see if this guy gets back up. I'm seeing like rolling and occasional like twitching. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Resuming. I also realized why my health got so much bigger all of a sudden, and it's- oh, here these guys are. It's because I'm embered. Oh no. There's an archer. Where did he- he hasn't been here this whole time. Archer, no. Archer, no arching. <sighs> okay. This is making me feel like the, uh, the chalice dungeons in Bloodborne right now. Can you stop launching shit at me? This guy doesn't even have a head. What, what just happened? I hit my weapon against the wall. And then he just like stagger hit me. I don't even know how that happened. I also don't know why the guys on the bridge didn't respawn, but that one guy at the beginning did. Is it the eyes? The guy had white eyes. I didn't look and see if the other guys had glowing eyes. All right, where's this archer? I'm gonna go kill him. Or he starts lobbing more crap at me. That guy does not have glowing eyes. That guy just dove. Yeah. 
I wonder if Abby's timing these, because it feels like she takes the hill just in time to get the point. Dude committed 100%. <laughs> okay. This is where the archer was shooting at me. That was perfectly timed in to snipe the point. Trap ahead. I do see a button on the floor. Do I try pressing the button just to see what happens? Trap ahead. Alright. Woo! And it does reset. Interesting. Okay. So I have a ladder that I can go down. Let's see what's over here. I see more skeletons. More uh, catacombs. They're guarding something. I mean, so far these hammers are treating me pretty nicely. They're faster, which is nice. Oh, are these just ashes that I'm spreading? <laughs> Completely disrespecting. Soul of a nameless soldier. Okay. Oh, there's another red eye guy guarding something down there. A couple of guys. Alright, so I have two different paths that I can check. The ladder and then down the stairs. Let's check the ladder. Just because I don't want to deal with those two intimidating looking dudes there. Okay, do not press the trap button. Danger. Another soul. Need to be aware of more butt. You're a different looking enemy. See another enemy down there. Well, what is this dude? Are you hostile? Yup. Interesting. The hammer just, like, slaps you around. Okay. Another Titanite Shard. I'll take that. Thank you. Sharp gem! Ah! <laughs> just an archer just standing at the ready to snipe me. Is this the bottom of the stairs, anyway? It's is it just the illusion of choice all along? I think it might be. Whoa! This guy's so fast! Hello there. It's funny that I'm just sending you flying, like, all the time. I know that there are, like, weaknesses, and, like, Dungeons and Dragons tells me that skeletons are weak to bludgeoning. So maybe it's, maybe I just am lucky to be using a bludgeoning weapon against a bunch of skeletons. More Titanite Shards. They're just encouraging me to experiment with new weapons, I guess. Okay, so what's out this way? That was the bit. So that was the big guy I was seeing from the entrance. That guy's just patrolling. That looks like a pit of death. Probably not making that jump. Okay, so we have the big old staircase there. And then we've got. This looks like a lot of skeletons.
You look like a friend. Time for a for tail. Secret passage ahead. What's up? Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Wait, are you? Have you seen my companion? <gasps> Did something happen to Horus? To my shame, I was snared by a trap and we've become separated. I've not been able to find him since. Don't worry, I'll find him. Yes, I see. Horus is a valiant knight. He can look after himself, no question. He's probably searching for me right now, with twice the resolve. If you happen upon him, please tell him that I remain in the catacombs. And we'll lay prism stones to guide him, as always. Don't you worry. My word, I beg of you. May the flames guide your way. If you happen upon that I and will please may the flames. Okay, don't you worry. Try left. Ah! Archers! <laughs> Guys are awful. There's something around this corner here? Nope. An illusion. Is there a hole? Nothing down there? Okay. Uh, it looks like my only way forward is that staircase then. I, I'm not upset about it though. I always enjoy finding the dead ends first. Makes my life much easier. Shit. <laughs> I heard a noise and just had a feeling. Is it coming back? Ah. I need to go down fast. Because it's going to come back again. Bye bye. This is this boulder just going back and forth. I have no idea if I can even like attempt to hit it. What are you doing? The archer was not happy with me sitting there. Should I even dare trying to hit this thing? Maybe I should do it where I'm not like at risk of getting smacked. Nope. Also, this dude's just chilling here. Are you friend? Time for stay calm. Where's he going? Okay. Is, I mean, if this guy's not coming after me, like... Is this thing gonna turn, like, suddenly? No, okay. I was just making sure that it doesn't suddenly turn. Okay, so that one has eyes, so it'll get, it'll respawn. What? Oh, is it parrying me? Is that what's happening? Okay. So it wasn't that... Ah, shit. Is that a lever? Is that like a broken lever there? Okay, so it wasn't that it's that I hit the wall that he was able to do that to me. It's that uh, I did it while he was guarding. Okay. Back into the catacombs we go. Uh, I don't know if I have any kind of a shortcut that I can take. I, I guess so. Okay, so I can go here. I'm just following the other player here. All right. 
that's a dead end. I want to know if uh, the boulder is going to get activated. I can see it up there. I wonder if it's going to get activated if I'm at the bottom of the stairs. To answer that question, yes. Yes, it does. Do not get bouldered. I want to get the guy who tosses his skulls at me. Now I can get you. Ouch. And he's got glowing eyes, so he'll get back up. We'll just sit here and wait for him to get back up. I'm just waiting for this boulder to suddenly decide that it's going to, uh, like, take a 90 degree turn. Yeah, so this is a broken lever. There's a bonfire on the other side of that gate, though. There's a lot of jars here, and things can hide in the jars. Okay, wait, this is the guy that I've been, like, following. Oh, okay, that's a trap. I didn't see what the trap jar looked like. Is it the black one? This dark one here? Yes, okay. One sec, I don't know where I'm leading this guy. Can you get to where you need to go to now? Where are you trying to go, friend? I have no idea what's happening with this. Is he going like where I'm sending him? I didn't notice that one. All right, well, I guess I'll take this. That looks like a, a that one's on a button. Carthus milk ring. Slightly boosts dexterity and obscures rolling. Interesting. All right, well, I guess we'll see what happens when I break this one. It was, in fact, on a button. I feel like... There's, I'm doing something wrong with this guy here. I have no idea what the, his deal is. Alright, uh, is this the only path I have? I can't get across here at all, can I? No, okay. I have to go along this way to get to the other side. I've set off a trap because I didn't see that button. I like how I spot the button that's underneath a vase, but miss the button that's just in the middle of the pathway. Hey there. I hope
hope you're enjoying the videos of the Dark Souls 3 adventure with me and my best friend. I'd love to hear what you all think, so please leave a like or a comment and consider subscribing to follow my journey to beat as many games as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.